This is a figure review of some of the older Hasbro uh, Star Wars figure. Uh, these are loose, by the way, that I've gotten from my local comic shop, as you have seen in my uh, toy haul video. And some of you asked to, um, well, asked that I uh, do a review on these, especially the uh, Burn um, Anakin from Revenge of the Sith there. Um, so um, let me start with the, uh, be the beginning of Phantom Menace. Uh, Anakin. I really needed this one to complete my uh, evolu uh, my Anakin uh, evolution because, well, as you can see in the back there, I have the uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith Anakin, the vintage figure, and the and the um, Darth Vader. So all I need is a little Anakin to uh, complete that. And uh, I, you know, I couldn't help to pick up this one too. It's really nice looking and um, very accurate uh, to the. Um, the actor, I forgot his name, that uh, portrayed the little Anakin from episode 1. Uh, the figure itself has a really nice detail overall. You can see the wrapping on his leg. Really nice detail and wash, you know. Just very, just very cool. But uh, the figure has limited articulation featuring the uh, basic 6, which is the uh, swivel head, uh, swivel shoulder, swivel waist, and swivel hips. So that's it. It's really no possibility to this guy uh the um the drape uh is kind of a soft plastic but not soft enough i have to say uh, but uh you can still get some uh some forward and back legs movement there but uh, he's not gonna do much because well uh just stand around and he comes with a backpack is made of a um a much harder plastic I mean even if you manage to put the the, pep, the backpack on him it's not gonna stay on as it should like it won't look very natural as you can see it's gonna it will be like that this is as best as I could get uh, the backpack to fit on him and he come with this little this little gun uh, it should stay in his hand quite well but uh well i assume this is the handle because it's thin looks like it can fit through his hand yeah you can see uh you know this is an older uh, hasbro figure so uh you know expect some flaws and some faults but um well this is the best that you're gonna get if you're buying these so let's uh, put him aside Okay, we put him in the back actually, and uh, come to the uh, end of uh, episode one, uh, um, episode one uh, of the uh, Star Wars movie. We have uh, this cloak that is molded with uh, soft plastic, you know. So it's it's non posable, but it's very easy to put on. You know, you don't have to pose the the hood. Uh, well, but uh, on the other hand, you really can use it to pose anything, unlike the uh, nowadays uh, soft um, fabric uh, cloth that you can pose with the figure. But uh, it's still, it's, you know, it still looks cool. If you're not looking for posability, you might like this one. And uh, here's the end of episode one. Let me uh, see. So it's quite accurate to the picture. Oh. Um, I sh I'm sorry, I didn't go. I didn't show the uh, uh, the chip that came with that one. Here he is. So this one looked quite good. Actually, he cut his hair. Uh, let me see if the liner is. Yeah, the liner is still there. Looks like they just maybe remolded the hair a little bit uh, with the uh, the pattern one tail. It's pretty nice. Uh, so this one also this same basic uh, six point of articulation. There's a swivel head again, swivel shoulder, swivel waist, and swivel hips. I I actually really not, uh, like the the the, um, the the paint on his uh, boots there. Kind of like the uh, oak red or something like that. Very nice. And looks like uh, a little bit of a uh, sleeve exposed there. And uh, 
Let me see. Oh, this one is made of a uh, a softer plastic than uh, I mean compared to that one. But you still get the uh, forward and back leg movement. And it comes with this some sort of communicator. But uh, if you buy the uh, Comlink the Comlink reader for 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 this, it looks almost the same shape as this one. So I'm not sure. Um, I may have to get the actual reader to do a review on the on on the chips. But um, he can hold it very well. So let me put him back and on to uh, Yoda here. Uh, Yoda has a little bit more articulation. Uh, no, actually, not more, but just w well, whatever is uh, whatever this guy, uh, whatever joints these two figure don't have, Yoda has. But whatever Yoda doesn't have, these two has. So it's kind of makeup for articulation. But uh, he has a uh, swivel head, uh, ball hidden shoulder, no wrist or elbow, and there's a a hinge on the uh, on the hip for, uh, for the hip joint so that's it one two three actually four points of articulation it's a little bit less he's also from uh, episode one with the uh, episode one phantom menace uh, packaging same with these two but uh, this one he comes with the uh, Jedi Council seat you can see the overall blue and a little bit of uh, pinkish red for the seat and the inner um, or the underneath is uh, completely hollow so very cheap piece of plastic but um, I was hoping if I can find more of those seats maybe I can, I can uh, make like arrange the entire uh, Jedi Council uh, sitting maybe can have some other uh, Jedi Master sitting on there that would be nice uh, the paint app on this one is alright looks like there are some paint chips or paint scrape on him yeah, due to the uh, older nature of the figure, but uh, that's all right. Looks like the uh, looks like his uh, his hood is uh, molded to the back of the uh, cloth. But yeah, over I mean overall is is all right. I mean it's a loose and uh, and older figure. This is well you can't expect anything much better. But uh, I'm I, you know I'm glad the. Uh, the liner is there, the the head is done very well. Yeah, yeah everything is still there at least in, you know it, at least it's it, it's still a decent figure. Okay. And I'll have him sitting on uh the Jedi uh seat, the Jedi Council seat and maybe talking with his hand pointing forward or something. So this is uh this is Yoda. And uh, the last one is the uh, the end of Revenge of the Sith Anakin. As you can see he is uh, almost completely burned with the Expo uh, me uh, mechanic hands right there. He comes with uh, this one. If you can, uh, if you take a look at it, the, the inside is completely hollow. And um, the point is that uh, you have to remove the head and remove the arm as well as his uh no no his boots stay there no actually the boots are not supposed to be on the figure is he's he's supposed to be like that with with the arm and has attached so um to change him to the um to jedi master anakin or dark side anakin you have to um there's a little about, well, I, I have no idea the name for this thing, but uh, it is the, uh, it's like to to stop everything from, from, from crushing the, um, the uh, cloth. So you're gonna reattach the uh, arm and the head and put on his uh, Jedi outfit. So there, uh, it's, it, you know, it's kind of like the uh, quick change Anakin to Darth Vader, to to Darth Vader. But uh, I I took it, um, I took a look at the packaging, and all it says was the uh, Revenge of the Sith Anakin battle damage. So I guess he went from 
Anakin to um, to to what it, you know what ha what happened to him at the end of it, and there's a lightsaber, look like a generic lightsaber that uh, the nowadays figure is still using. So very very cool, very nice. Uh, so if you want to portray him uh, at the end of Revenge of the Sith after Obi Wan has cut off his arm and his legs. Just remove everything, and you know the the burn Anakin is also the reason that I got him in the first place. Uh, so I can uh, maybe reenact that scene with him laying on the ground, saying, "I hate you, Obi Wan." And yeah, so there you go. I get you have seen this one. The detail on him is all right. You know they have the a little bit of orangey pink. Uh, paint on him to portray that uh, his body uh, was burned really bad uh, his eyes are still blue I don't know why they're blue should be dark red or something yeah but uh, you know you can see him laying on the ground um, it's a shame his head couldn't go up any higher but yeah but this is the bet you got same you were my brother, Anakin. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's okay. Um, so that that's it for my uh, figure review. I hope you'll like it. You know, maybe uh, maybe if you love Star Wars, you know, you go out and uh, find more of these figures to reenact some of those scenes that you love in the uh, original trilogy or maybe the uh, the uh, prequels. But um, I don't know how I'm gonna recommend uh, this figure to you, but now probably the only place that you can find uh, find these is probably eBay or maybe some uh, maybe some bin out of your um, local comic shop. But uh, you know, being a uh, Star Wars fan, I really love having this figure, especially this uh, little Anakin here, uh, especially uh, well as well as Yoda and uh, the burn Anakin. But you know, I'm I'm glad to own these. So if you are big Star Wars fans, you know maybe you could you would like to go back and collect some of the older figures. It's gonna bring back a lot of uh, nostalgia. Uh, so anyway, these are really good figures. I even those with limited articulation, I still think that they are good figure, uh, good for display and not really possibility, but good for uh, scene reenactment. Uh, maybe you can do like stop motion or anything anything that you wish uh, with this figure um, really add more to your really gigantic Star Wars uh, figure collection so there you go uh, you've seen it and thanks for watching